Hello everyone, uh, my name is Shane Conway. I'm a researcher at NUI Galway, working on the National Rural Network Project here in Ireland. My presentation today, as you can see, is on the use of operational groups for testing out new cap measures. Uh, to begin, um, here's a breakdown of the Irish operational groups, essentially a family of measures here. There's the two themed projects um, agreed with the Commission as part of Ireland's Rural Development Programme, the Hen Area Project and the Pearl Muscle Project. Um, large projects uh, recruited by competitive tender. And then we have the two open calls uh, for environment and the general call, uh, bottom up operation group calls recruited by a simple application process and most importantly designed to be accessible by all. This uh, process resulted in the selection of 23 operational groups uh, located throughout the country, as you can see in this map created by the National Rural Network. Um, the great thing about this is that the um, different farming systems and typologies across the country are represented here, um, be it from the upland areas to more pasture-rich grazing, uh, dairy environments, and also the island communities are represented um, on the Iron Islands there, for example. So. Leading on from this, I suppose the most important uh, message I want to get across here is Ireland's approach towards EIP Agri. This uh, locally led, farmer-centred, results-based approach. This is the, the key message. So involving farmers from the get-go in the design phase and then throughout. This flexible, practical, locally adaptable measures. Um, for example, farmers making decisions on a field-by-field -field basis. Um, and also, of course, the results-based approach. So rewarding farmers for um, you know, making improvements in farm biodiversity and other public goods such as water quality, um, protecting wildlife, for example. So it's, it's a really key point as well, this results-based, results-oriented approach. And also, of course, a lot of lessons have been learned from the Burren Programme's experience in relation to all this. So, in relation to supporting the, the operational groups, the Department of Agriculture and then REN um, held a, a number of knowledge transfer and exchange workshops at the beginning and um, providing um, the, 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 the multi actors involved in these projects, be it the advisors, the farmers, the researchers, um, with the, an opportunity to exchange ideas and to listen to each other. And now there's, and now there's quite a few of the thematic kind of uh, groupings coming together, for example, the upland operational groups are coming together to share ideas. And when we talk about the Hen Harrier project and the Pearl Muscle project, you know, a lot of money has gone towards this, you know, 25 million for the, per, for the Hen Harrier, per 10 million for the Pearl Muscle. But it's not just about species conservation, there's a knock on effect of habitat protection. So the Hen Harrier is a good indicator of ecosystem functionality, and that in turn illustrates that there's a good um, habitat. In, in that area. Also with the, the um, pearl mussel, there's an indicator of water quality with their presence. So the symbiotic relationship exists. Um, and essentially looking ahead that these operational groups are intended as preparation for future CAP agri-environment climate interventions post-2020. Um, and the department are taking on board lessons learned from these existing projects in the next phase. And here's an example of, of another few projects that they're learning from, like they are for their, all the rest. And now there's a new peatlands call um, to inform cap strategies in the area of farmed peat soil. So that's another key area because of uh, the, in relation to carbon storage and sequestration. Um, the operational group booklet produced by the NRN on behalf of the department includes all the aims and objectives activities and objectives um, of the projects and it's, it's a useful tool if you want to learn more about the projects. Also we have a one-stop database on our website including all um, social media for example, um, websites, uh, contact details. We have a new blog that gives representation to farmers on the ground by giving them a voice. They can share their ideas, farmer to farmer, and general public can also um, see what's going on. And also because of the COVID-19 pandemic, some of the groups now are holding um, virtual meetings, such as the Pearl Muscle Project. And this is another form of ACAS and key form as we move forward. Um, to build a social inclusion in times of social distancing and knowledge, knowledge exchanges is as important as ever. But again, the on the ground actions remain key and a blended approach is now necessary, combining digital measures with um, you know, hands-on knowledge exchange activities and strategies which follow these COVID-19 guidelines. And just look here at the Miguel Eguri Reek CIP project doing an excellent job on such things. So 
thanks so much for your attention. Um, the main thing message I want to get across is the locally led, farmer-centred, results-based approach. That's Ireland's key um, message that we want to bring forward. And um, I hope you enjoy the presentation. Thank you.